everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Deja, but you can call me D and this is day three of my Slaytober series so I'm uploading a different Halloween look every day of October today of course I did Buzz Lightyear if you want to see how I achieve this look please continue on watching I'm jumping right into this look first I'm gonna comb my eyebrows up and then fill in my brows using my Benefits Cosmetics um, Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 4 Excuse my background, I'm recording this at work and my job has this industrial AC, whatever, whatever. It's just really, really loud. But I'm gonna clean my eyebrows up with my Juvia's Place Concealer in a shade 15. The base that I'm using today is my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor Vero. When I'm applying my eyeshadow, I like to pet it in first, especially when it's the first color that I put on top of my base. I like to pet it in first so I won't create no smudge, no smudges, if that makes sense. So I usually start with the dark color first and then move up to like my transition but um, obviously I didn't this time but it does make it easier to blend when you start with the dark color first. So I went back into that same palette and I used that dark green just to combine the light green to the purple easier. To cut my crease, I am going in with some Vaseline. I just find this way easier, especially when you're dealing with darker colors. You definitely want to do this technique if you're going right on top of it with a white base. Using that same purple, I'm going to um, do me some shadow liner. I'm using my lash glue. I'm going to be putting some purple glitter on top of my eyeliner I just went in with. Um, I don't really know the name of this purple glitter. I got it from Amazon. It was like a couple years ago. So I really forgot the name of it. I 
I did make a mistake and get glue on my lashes so I'm going to go ahead and comb my lashes now do not leave it like that to the end because it's only going to like it's not going to make it any better comb them out now get the glue out your lashes now and then move on Right now I'm using the setting powder that came with my You Can Be paint palette and I'm just going to set that white paint in place. Using my um, the matte book from the crayon case, I'm taking that dark green color and I'm just going to create some shade effects on the um, inner part of the shape that I drew. Going into that same palette, I'm using that dark navy blue and I'm going to shade the inner parts of my square. So 
So to create my button, I'm going to use um, my Too Faced Melted Matte Red Lipstick. And um, I was going to go in with the brush, but I really didn't like how it was going on. So I figured it would be more easy to just use the lipstick stick. And I just really love using this lipstick other than the red paint when it comes to small details like this because it's just so matte. So I'm using that same red lipstick and I'm going to draw the additional buttons on the side. I'm just going to go down and draw a straight line first and then work my way to create it into a rectangular shape. So I'm going to create my little light year um, name tag. I'm using that dark yellow from the palette and I'm just going to really just use the same technique as I use for my rectangle buttons. So I almost forgot one of the main parts, his little purple um, bodysuit under thing he be wearing. So I'm just going in with that purple from that palette and I'm just putting, all, putting that all on the circumference of my face and I'm going to put it a little bit on my neck. Really just the parts that y'all can see because there's no need for me to put that all up under my chin. <laughs> Okay, I'm not even gonna lie, like I really jacked this part up, like it wasn't easy doing the letters and then my brush wasn't working right when I got to the G, so I don't really have no advice for this part at all, I'm not good with painting letters. <laughs> Again, I don't know why my body is showing up gray instead of green. So my camera started acting funky, I guess. But I'm going to go and outline all of my buttons, all of my details with this black eyeliner. This is, is one of the hardest parts for me because I do not have a steady hand. Feeling, I'm definitely feeling this look. I like it. I love it. You know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn your post notifications on so you won't miss another episode.